Hey guys, let's make this delicious beans and plantain you see right here on the cover. So get your black eye peas, wash it, get it ready, put it on the gas and let it boil for about 10 minutes. Now pour it out, strain it, put in fresh water and start to cook it again. And this is to eliminate any form of you know preservative that was used to dry up the beans now put in fresh water and see how clean it is also remove the blackness that come from the eye of the beans okay so taking it off it's really good and then put it back on the fire and let it cook continue to check it it's going to take anywhere between one hour or plus for your beans to get this cooked okay so check it if you think it's soft enough then you can start so these are what i'll be using i'll be using onion pepper stock cube oil some sweet corn and then okay so just blend your pepper and your onion and then pour out your sweet corn and keep it ready this is salt this is stock cube and then that's palm oil so at this point my beans is ready let's just check it and see okay just get one seed of the beans try to crush it and see how far it goes if it melts into your hand you know your beans is definitely ready you see how easy it is so go on and add that sweet corn yes this is optional if you want to add the sweet corn it's okay i just love to add sweet corn to my beans but not all the time because traditionally we don't use sweet corn all the time now go on in and pour that pepper and onion that is already blended and then make sure to give it a very good mix okay mix it up add some salt add yes i think that's all you basically need salt and stock cube just add them in and give it a very good stir so nigerian beans is really very easy to prepare it's like the easiest food the only time it takes is for it to cook and get soft so when you put it on the fire just forget it and go do other things like that you really need to do especially like on a saturday morning or in the evening put it on the fire and just wait for it to cook while you're busy doing other things just come back to check if it's soft and continue to put other things so right now i'm going to be adding my palm oil this is what we nigerians call palm oil and most african countries and other countries even use it if the palm oil is a bit you know cold it tends to be this way usually it's supposed to be just liquidy but it's palm oil of course so that's what you see i've often tried using you know vegetable oil for this when i didn't have palm oil those days while in the uae and i didn't know where to get one it also went well so just in case you don't have palm oil and you want to try this out yes i used to do it but traditionally we use red oil for doing this okay so just put in your palm oil give it a very good stir and then check for salt if salt is okay because sometimes because of the sweet corn it tends to you know lose the salt so i go in to add just a little bit more salt and then give it a very good stir and then cover it and let it cook so guys this part is very important the beans is going to cook and cook and cook and integrate everything you have put in there into that beans okay so at this point you need to be giving it constant stirring even i didn't show all the stirring i gave to the beans yes i had to reduce it okay but in the background i will constantly come to turn the beans because it tends to burn fast if you do not you know turn it so i came and i checked it i turned it i let it cook i came back again i checked it i gave it a very good stir very good stir make sure you're stirring up to the you know the bottom of the pot remove anything that feels like it's forming in the bottom so that you don't give room for for burning you know so turn it from top to bottom properly so at this point some people usually put their beans down because beans gets to ticking when it's cold yes but I like mine to be a bit thick so I'm just let, gonna let it cook for just a little bit more time and put it down and at this point is exactly how I want it to be yes so see the way I'm turning it this is how I want it to be I'm just going to remove everything around the pot and make sure my pot looks as clean as it can be because of the constant turning that I've been given turn 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 and then see how thick it looks yes 
but just wait and see how it's going to look when it gets cool. So now I sliced up my plantain and I'm beginning to fry my plantain. This is the last batch of plantain and this is how golden brown I like it. Try it. Tell me how it went. I know you will love it. Just try it.